I'm here at the Honda plant at Swindon in Wiltshire for the official line-off ceremony for the Honda Aerodeck. Oh, that's a state to you and me. The Aerodeck is the third model to be built here, joining the Accord four-door and the Civic five-door. What's unique about the Aerodeck is that this is the first Honda ever to be completely designed, financed and built within Europe. Why was the decision made to open the plant here in Swindon? I mean, it could have been anywhere really in Europe, couldn't it? What were the factors that were... Uh, I've asked that question often. The prime reason is that the Japanese and the Brits culturally can communicate well in a funny sort of say way we understand each other and there's a comfort level. I think our Japanese colleagues feel comfortable maybe the language in Britain and I think if you spoke to all the associates here they feel very comfortable working in this environment. I mean, we're seeing the Aerodeck here, which is the first car that's been totally built, financed and designed in Europe. That must mean that things are going well at Swindon, then? Excellent. Really excellent. Uh, as Mr. Edo said, we're now up to 109,000 last year. We'll achieve 150,000 manufacturing this year. That's a tremendous growth from only producing cars in five years. Last year, 100,000 cars came out of this factory. And by the end of 98, Honda hope that that figure will have increased to 150,000 cars rolling off the production lines. So that means more jobs, and it also means a great boost to the local economy, as 90% of the Aerodex parts will be supplied from within Europe. We're going to be, or we're now in the process of recruiting another 400 uh, staff in here in Swindon now, with the view of taking our total uh, staff level up to just under 3,000 people into next year. That is a huge impact in Swindon. Teamwork is a key word here at the plant, and there are no bosses and no workers. Everyone is an associate, and each associate, no matter what their job, was the same, regulation issue, overalls and baseball cap. Management offices aren't tucked away in flush suites on the top floor. Nope, they're right next to the production lines, with large windows overlooking everything, to encourage the sense of, we're all in it together.